Welcome to the Self-Publishing Tips and Tricks Show, a series designed to give you insight into the world of self-publishing and marketing your books. Featuring your hosts, Shannon, the author behind the pen name SC Houston, Ben Pick, and Morgan Lee. Join us several times each month when we interview authors about their self-publishing and marketing journeys, talk to industry leaders, and discuss books about writing, self-publishing, and marketing. Also stay tuned for the best self-publishing tip or trick of the week. Hello and welcome. I'm Shannon, your host for this week's self-publishing tip or trick of the week. I'm still working on the next book in my series, A Curse of Wings and Gems, which is also my Camp Nano project for April. I'm also getting excited about attending and presenting at BookmarkCon at the end of this week. This is a virtual conference focused on book marketing, and it's scheduled for April 5th through the 7th. Today, I'm zeroing in on a simple yet powerful strategy to boost your email marketing efforts. But first, let's talk about why those email open rates matter so much. If you've been wondering why your meticulously crafted newsletters aren't getting the attention they deserve, you're not alone. A low email open rate isn't just discouraging, it can be a silent killer for your business. When your open rates are down, it means your message isn't reaching your audience. This pivotal metric gives us a clear view of our email marketing strategy's effectiveness. Are we engaging our readers or are we just another unopened item in an overcrowded inbox? Email open rates give you an overview of how well your email marketing strategy is performing. It's one of the most important metrics to keep an eye on. Now, several factors influence whether your emails light up the eyes of your subscribers or disappear into the digital void. The relevance of your content, the quality of your email list, and yes, those all important subject lines play a huge part. It's said that over a third of subscribers decide whether to open an email based solely on the subject line. That's a lot writing on just a few words. But here's the thing. Even with the most compelling subject lines, there's no one size fits all solution. What works for one audience might not for another. It's a game of trial and error, of knowing your readers and what resonates with them. And that brings us to our tip of the week, the surprisingly effective tactic of resending your newsletter to subscribers who didn't open them the first time around. It sounds simple, but the impact? Phenomenal. By giving your emails a second chance to make a first impression, you're not only increasing your visibility, but also fine-tuning your approach. Maybe it's a tweak to a lackluster subject line, or perhaps it's just about timing. Either way, the results speak for themselves. Industry studies have shown that this practice can boost open rates by up to 30%, click-through rates by 14%, and even conversion rates by a staggering 26%. And the best part? It's easier than you think. For instance, I use MailerLite for my campaigns. With their auto resend feature, I can effortlessly set my newsletters to reach out again to those who miss them without lifting another finger. All you do when you go to set up your campaign is choose to set up an auto resend campaign. And MailChimp offers a similar convenience with just the click of a button as long as you haven't resent that email before and you have open tracking enabled. The best approach is to search for your specific platform's instructions on resending to non-openers. This idea isn't just about getting your message out, it's about understanding and adapting to the rhythms of your subscribers' lives. Maybe your first email got buried on a busy day. A resend offers a second chance, a gentle nudge to say, hey, don't miss out on this. Email open rates are arguably the most important email marketing metric. And in the vast ocean of email marketing advice, resending to non-openers stands out for its simplicity and effectiveness. While there are plenty of tips and tricks for crafting compelling subject lines and content, this strategy is one of the easiest to implement right away. It's a low effort, high impact move that can make all the difference in your engagement rates. So if you're looking for an accessible way to level up your email game, this is it. Dive into your platform's features, set up that auto resend and watch your numbers grow so that the next time you hit send on your newsletter, you can make a note to check those open rates and resend to anyone who's missed it the first time around. Your engagement and conversions will thank you. That's all for this week's tip. Tune in next week for our final tip or trick of the week. Thank you so much to our incredible listeners and viewers for joining us on our exploration of everything self-publishing. We hope you found our podcast to be a treasure trove of insights and inspiration. If you've enjoyed the show, please consider leaving a review on your favorite podcast platform or a thanks on our YouTube episodes. Don't forget, you can catch all of our past episodes on YouTube, Spotify, and other major podcast platforms. And if you'd like to connect with us, drop us a line at self-publishing tips, tricks, and gmail.com. Keep writing, keep publishing, and we'll see you next time.